Hello buongiorno. guys, buongiorno. <laughs> so your characters have an immediate bond in the movie. So I was wondering if you had to audition together at some point. I refused to audition with her. I didn't want to at all. <laughs> I'm kidding. No, <laughs> no. I mean, no. I, no, we, we didn't. didn't. So you met on set. Yeah. So and how did you uh, build the chemistry that you have? I think oh. Being a fantastic actress. Being a fantastic actor and also no, an amazing, <laughs> amazing guy, amazing human being is such a cool, cool dude to hang up with. And so we share like uh, music and books and films, and uh, and just spend some time with each other. And it's just big, yeah. It was just very natural. First time when we started to talk with each other, I was like, "Hey, buddy." <laughs> <laughs> See, I was trying to be very funny, and she went really sincere, so it just, it just messed. It's, but yes, I agree. We just, I don't know. It was very natural. We really didn't have to work at it. Yeah. I think it was just like we both wanted to do a great job and, you know, really work hard. So we spent a lot of time talking about the characters and where what they were doing before they met in this life and, you know, how the similarities that they have in personalities and how we can, uh, you know, just make it seem seamless and, and effortless. We weren't trying to push any type of romantic narrative. It was just like whatever, I guess, essence of the relationship, whatever happens organically, that's just gonna show up on film or it's not. And it was great because Julius and the writers never tried to define what it was. They wanted audiences to leave and wonder, well, did they ever end up together or did they end up just being friends or whatever? They just wanted to leave it to the audience. They are two World War II characters. So did you do any kind of research regarding this? Yeah, I mean, I, I grew up as a French girl that to World War II uh, era and what happened into the historical part of it. And, uh, but when I had get the part, I, I made more research, so I went more deep into the project to know what was exactly about the parachuter and, and then going more, more deep into it. And then I watched different films, like French films, uh, or yeah, American films to just get myself in, into the character. And you? I have to, yeah, the same. I think all of myself and the other the other gentlemen in the film, we all watched the World War II films, the the many films that there are out there. And um, I did a lot of my own personal research just on all of the men of that time. I think, you know, we we uh, walk a, what do you call it? It was a tightrope with historical accuracy for, with certain aspects of the film, but we weren't trying to make a, an exact historical recollection of this time in the world in the second world war we were just trying to reinvent a new story in that time so with all the research that we all wanted to do i think jj and bad robot and the rest of the uh of the creative minds wanted us to just live in each specific character's minds and just you know play it as we would mm. if we were living in that time without trying to study everything you know did jj tell you something about how we actually vision the movie, just uh, to give you, you know, some indication of his idea. Um, no, I think, I mean, if he did, he, I'm sure he explained it to Julius and mm -hmm. Mark and, and Billy, like, in the writers, but I think, I, we did, I saw him, it was maybe like two-thirds through filming, yeah. he came to set, and which was awesome, you know, just to have JJ on set, just walking around, and you never know what he's thinking. Yeah. He's walking from set to set, you know, all of the different setups that we have, and he's just, Mm -hmm. Did he say something? Did he give you any advice or? At the very, at the very end of like his his visit for me anyway, he came up to me and he was just like, "Fine job, fine job," and then just walked away. And I was like, "Oh man, it was like meeting, you know? Yeah. It was so overwhelming. It's yes. very intimidating." I definitely agree. I, uh, <laughs> we went and um, I was like arriving to the set in the morning, and then we did the preparation for the for the set, like the first trial, you know, with everyone, the camera. And uh, I just heard, Gigi's there, Gigi's there. <laughs> and I'm like, Gigi's there, Gigi's there. She's like, okay, 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 okay. And then he just walked into the stage and he just walked towards me and he go, hi, nice to meet you, my name is Gigi. And I'm like, yes, I know who you are. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a child. And he go, thank you for being bored. Good job. I'm like, oh my gosh, yes. <laughs> I'm gonna have to smoke cigarettes to put the nerve down. <laughs> Do you actually speak some French? Uh, no. no, she helped me, and my translator helped me to speak it the best I could. So, 
No, I he, he is a very he's um he's very committed to to work. He's a work alcoholic, so when uh, it was a uh, very easy, and he have some bonjour, ça va, oui, ça, and some you know braids, so he was easy. And I've he's a fast learner. <laughs> fast learner, but I've forgotten all of it, unfortunately. Mm. <laughs> okay, thank you. Guys. Thank you so thank much. Grazie mille, buona giornata.